Hey guys and gals, today we have a Shimano FX4000 FA that's stiff. And we just had to break it down, service it, and reassemble it. So we're going to do a full breakdown of this. We're going to start with the spool. Just pop that off by undoing this drag knob. I think we do the easy parts first. I'm just going to clean this stuff out with toothbrush, some Q-tips, and paper towel. I don't think we need to do anything else besides that. And to get those drags out, we're going to pop this uh, retaining spring off. Just by using a flathead screwdriver, kind of sticking it in and up. Keep your finger over so it doesn't go shooting somewhere. And looks like we're going to replace some of these, so I think we're going to replace all of them. These top ones look a little bit beat up, so. Let me grab those and come back to you guys. All right, so I set them up with some HD 100 washers for the pen battle. And now we're just gonna grease these with some Cal's drag grease. All right, so the first one goes in, just like that. Then we have a keyed washer, and that looks like that. Next drag washer. Then you have an eared washer. And the final stack is a drag washer and then a keyed washer. Let's take this back in. You're simply going to take one end of this, drop it in, and it's going to work the rest in just with your finger, kind of like that. When you get all inside, you can play with this and make sure it's in the groove that it should be in. And that one's set. Now we can go ahead and oil this back side. Kind of work that in a little bit. Then we can grease here. And you can also grease this if you want to. Don't really need to. Okay, now to access the rotor, we're gonna remove the screws here to open this uh, reel up. Before we do that, we're gonna undo this screw here to get the handle off. Just counterclockwise to pull it back. That's how it looks. It's kind of rusty and stuff, but if you have a, a bushing here and then you have a washer that sits on the back. This should just pull out. And we see some pieces coming off here, so we'll glue that back on. Now we're gonna open those four screws that are right there. And these screws are different sizes. Uh, the bottom right is a smaller version and I feel like this top one is just a different size as well so I just kind of keep them uh, set in the order that they came out and that's how it looks now we can pop this up I'll show you where that came from when we put the reel back together. And now we can undo this screw here to remove the shaft. And pull that out. And then we can pull out the gears. All right, let's just set these things aside and we'll come back to them in a sec after we're done with the rotor. So 
So to remove that rotor, there is a clip on the bottom here that we need to back off. And I'll show you now in case I forget when I'm putting it back in, but I probably won't. This side over here is a little bit thicker than this side. So the way it'll be sitting when you put it back together will be the thicker side on the right and the thinner on the left. That just pulls up. We'll clean it off in a little bit. Under here you're going to find a bushing, a washer, and a trigger for the anti-reverse. You also have a spring under there that I'm going to leave alone. Uh, so we'll set these aside and I'll show you how to break this stuff down. Let's do the non-load side first, which is this one. Nothing there, just an empty space. I'm going to pop this side off where the spring is. Kind of keep your hand over it when you do it. And there's still a load on this, so I'm going to lift it up just to get that load off of it. Still some load on it, so I'm going to keep my finger over it when I open this up. Under these two screws here, there's one on the side and one on the bottom. And things may start popping on us, but if it does, then we'll just put it back together. It's pretty simple. I'll show you where this came from in a sec. I'm looking for my spring. Oh, there it is on my finger. All right, so what I'm going to do here first is oh, let's open this up and then I'll clean this stuff up, come back to you and show you how to put the stuff back together. On the line roller, there's not a whole lot going on. This is a few pieces on there. You have a washer that's inside there. Line roller, and that's it. Let's get the washer so you can see it. And that's kind of what it looks like. All right, so I'll get this cleaned up and I'll come back to you guys and show you how to put that back together. All right, so we're going to start with the line roller first. Uh, and where I'm using uh, grease here, you can certainly use oil if you wanted to. Uh, I'm going to use grease. Stick that on, it can go either way. A little bit of grease in there, some grease just around that point. I'm going to drop this in, kind of like that. I'm going to take my screw and stick that through. Just want to get it started. Now I can line these two things up and then screw the screw in. I'm not going to go all the way down yet. I'm going to wait for the end before I tighten this this section down. Now let's go ahead and do uh, the spring side of it. First we're going to put this piece in. The way that's going to look is just like that when looking at that section there. We're going to take this spring, there's a hooked end right there. I'm going to hook that around the back side kind of like that. then lay it over. I prefer doing it this way. This way, the uh, it's just easier for me to do it this way. The spring is out there. We're not pressing on too hard because we don't want to damage that spring. And we're going to roll that over to where it locks in place. And now we're set. At this point, we can take some oil. Oil right there. Kind of work that in. Stick our washer over it, kind of like that. I'm gonna rest that down and hopefully it doesn't pop out. It should not, but who knows. Some grease along there, some grease inside there around the point, and a little bit in that hole. Now we're gonna take our spring. I'm not gonna add any grease to it. The way it's going to look is that point will be going inside that hole right there. 
will be looking like this. And now I'm going to cover it up. And the reason I'm covering it up is because I'm going to put some load on this spring when I push this in. So I don't want something popping out on me. Uh, these two screws are the same size. Now it will be somewhat tricky getting that um, that pivot arm there inside the spring and set inside the housing, but it's you can do it. Rest that in there for now. I'm going to add some grease to the point. Now we're just going to push down until it pops in place, looking like that. Now we can take our arm. Stick that over that hole right there. And then just kind of rock this to where you feel it's set, which it is not. Let's do that again. Now that's set. Now we can go ahead and secure that. And now we can do the other side. I'm adding some grease to the point right there. Some inside that hole. And I can add some inside here and around that post as well. Let's go ahead and tighten all these things down and double check it to make sure it's working properly. That feels good. You can double check it, make sure that that arm is coming out. And while I'm here, I guess I'll just go ahead and grease the, because I cleaned that as well. I'm gonna go ahead and grease this pinion gear. around here as well around the shaft of it and you're good now let's do the spring side and this uh, enter reverse dog and this is probably going to be the trickiest part of the reel so let's do that let's undo this by removing this screw lift it up the spring is going to pop it on me there it goes now we can remove this lever by undoing that screw there and we're going to pull straight up on this if it doesn't come out then you can use a tool to get it out and if it's severely frozen in there just leave it alone if it's working there's no need to re remove it All right, so out with that stuff. Let me clean this up a little bit. All right, so to put this stuff back in, first we're gonna grease all these things up. I'm not gonna grease the end where it interacts with the um, the, the ratchet inside the, the rotor, but I'm gonna grease the rest of it. That's that. I'm gonna stick some oil inside this hole right here. And we're gonna put on the lever part first. So we're going to take this, have it facing up, looking like that. And I'm going to turn it sideways where the screw will be going into it. Drop this in. Uh, one way you can double check that is to just stick it in like this. And now you see where the hole is. Pull that back out. Uh, and you're trying to get that little notched piece of the bottom right there to face in that direction. And we're going to push it down most of the way, not all the way. So I'll leave a little room there. You can see the hole is not fully visible yet. I'm going to take this spring, 
sticking inside that channel that I just showed you. I think I'll use the tweezers for this one. When I get inside that channel, I'm going to push down on this. But I want to kind of lock that in place. You can secure it down with the screw if you want to. Um, am I going to do it? No, I'm not going to do it yet. Just in case this thing pops out, I need to reset it. So now that's set in this section, I'm going to pop this over with my tweezers. And now it's set in place. And we can go ahead and secure the screw now. And now it works. Now for this section, we're going to have the lever in this open position. Because we're going to be wrapping it around it, so we want a little bit of room to clear. First thing I'm going to stick on is this spring. You notice there's a straight, straight edge, straight edge there, and there's a hooked end right there. That hooked end will be going around that area right there, that corner. So let's go ahead and drop this in. That straight end, straight end will be going into the little channel right there. Take this and make sure that arm is on the outside right there. If it's on the inside, we're just we're in trouble. We gotta reset it and do it all over again. I'm gonna hold down on this section for a minute just to kind of get everything set. And I'm making sure that that, that bent piece of the uh, of the spring is going around the back side because if it's not on the back side it'll be tricky kind of getting that around it so it's there I'm gonna make sure that we get as far over as we can I think we just lost it no there it is just went on the other side now we can drop that down in place now you can see it's working. Now I'm just going to secure it. We'll double check it to make sure. And that looks good. All right, so we have the oscillation gear, the block, and then we have this. I want to see why this thing was uh, so stiff to begin with, but I haven't found anything yet. So I don't know if it was, um, doesn't feel like this. Ah, ah. -ha. I think we found out what's going on. So this is very stiff. So this doesn't this one doesn't really even turn. Uh, what you could do here is you could replace these with bearings. Uh, I'm gonna try not to do that. So I'll show you what I'll do with these gears when I pop this off. That was very stiff on there. The good thing about bushings is that it's hard for them to get like super stuck where you can't remove them. Bearings are a different matter. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just kind of work that metal down a little bit and see how it feels inside these bushings. Okay, so I popped all these things off and essentially what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take some 600 grit sandpaper. You can go lower than that if you want to. And I'm going to get as close to the end, or close to the bottom, as possible. And then just kind of work that out. I'm trying to reduce the size so that it fits inside that bushing.
Let's see how that feels. A lot better. You can see all the play that we have now, which is not too much, but it's it fits really nicely in there. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. All right, so now we're gonna grease a few points and then work on the top part first. Uh, that's, like I said, part of the trickiest part of this reel. Adding some grease to right there, where that bushing is gonna go inside. Inside here as well. Somewhere around here where that oscillation gear is gonna go. Okay, now I'll show you how to set the anti-reverse clutch on this. Uh, that spring in there, we're gonna rotate that to getting that just inside that, uh, that hole so you can see through and, and see it. First piece we're gonna put in would be this bushing here. I'm adding a little grease to it, but you don't really need to. And that's gonna stick inside that hole right there. I'm gonna make sure that notched end is to the back right. And set looking kind of like that, if you can see that. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is put this bushing in. You'll notice that there's a notched end at the top there. That notched end will be fitting inside that little notched or recessed area on the top of the housing. And it'll be looking like this. Let's see if I can show you that better. Where the top part or that notch will be at the top. Drop it in, just rotate it until you find the, the groove for it and then just drop it in place. Make sure it goes all the way down. Now we'll take this washer, stick that on. And I will take this piece. You notice there's a slot right there and there's a hook on this end right here. That hooked end will be going around this dog to kind of keep that in check. So you make sure you want to wrap it around kind of like that. So we're going to put it in this position. That lever, I mean. And this side will be between these two posts right here. Next, all you're gonna do is find that that pin or prong right there. I'm gonna line that up to where that shoots through that gap in this arm. And you may have to do this a couple times. I'm gonna look from up here. And just drop it in when you think you have it which I think I do. And we're just gonna double check it. So I'm gonna engage it and we're working. So that's good. Next thing I'm gonna do is lock this up. I'm gonna take this piece that we talked about before, add a little grease to it. And that's gonna slip around the pinion with that wider side on the right hand side if you're looking at the reel like this. All right, now that's it. We could add a little grease here, but the more grease you add to these reels, the sluggish or more sluggish you can become. So you gotta be a little careful with that. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and add the first bushing or second bushing essentially. And just stick that inside right here. I uh, see those two little prongs right there. There are two receiving holes inside the housing that that will go into. You can take something like this or a tweezers, lightly push down as you rotate. When you feel it drop in place, you're there. Now I'm gonna grease all these with a light amount of grease. Decent amount around that post and lightly grease the surface air area of it. And I'm gonna do the same for those two gears as well. Only difference here is here I'll put a decent amount of grease inside there also.
All right, so now we're going to put the oscillation gear first. Put that point all the way down to the bottom. Take this block, the way it's going to sit is looking just like this. Take our main gear or drive gear, stick that in. And when we get to here, we're going to take this plastic piece. And you notice there's two indentations or curved end on it. The, the one to the far the right would be facing over the drive gear. So we're just going to drop it in place, kind of like that. Now we can stick these shims on there. I'm going to start with two, leave these off for a second. Gonna rest that down. Put this one in. Add some grease to that point right there where it's gonna go inside the block. I'm going to stick that through and then secure it with the screw. That flat side will be facing up towards the sky. If that piece falls out, don't worry about it, just stick it back in. Just make sure it's covering the uh, main gear. Let's add a little bit of grease just on top of that. Then we're going to put this on it and see how it feels. I think that's going to be good. It's not. So let's take that off and try it again. feels better. Yeah, that feels good. So we'll leave it like that. Now we can use the four screws that we removed to secure that housing or side housing back to it. So now all we have left to do is the handle. Just gonna clean out that area. There's not a lot on here to do. So now we can add some oil here, some down in there, and a little bit up in there. It's going to rotate it. Then we'll add some grease just all around here. And finally here, along the shaft and Definitely some over that hole right there. I'm just going to stick this through and secure it and test the reel out. You could add a little bit of grease to the threads on this as well. This kind of helps it not get stuck. That squared off end will obviously go through the squared end in that um, drive gear and just secure it with the, by screwing it in clockwise.
what we're going to do now is just do a quick test, make sure everything's working fine. Uh, I always suspect that the drag is going to be working fine, but let's test it out as well. I'm adding a little bit of grease to the top right there where that drag knob is going to go. feels good. Crank feels good. Anti reverse is off. Anti reverse is engaged and it works. Let's try the bail flip. That works also. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you found the video useful, please hit that thumbs up button. If you appreciate content like this, consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you all next time.